nutrient deficiencies are quite widespread across the globe and it has a negative effect on your overall health, vitality and just well-being. Although the average person in affluent countries isn't underweight or malnourished, they still experience some nutrient shortcomings. The most common ones include iron deficiency or anemia, deficiencies in vitamin A, vitamin D, iodine, magnesium, zinc and folate. This video talks about intermittent fasting and nutrient deficiencies. How to avoid and prevent nutrient deficiencies from fasting. Synthetic aminos, vitamins and minerals. Although fasting can make it more difficult for you to obtain all the essential nutrients that you need from a diet, it's not necessarily going to have to happen. In fact, your body also stores a lot of nutrients in its own body fat. Fat-soluble vitamins like A, D, E and K are stored in the adipose tissue and they're released when you're losing fat. As long as you've been eating a nutrient-dense diet with plenty of these fat-soluble vitamins, you should be fine without them for even weeks and months. Unfortunately, most people's diets are already lacking of these essential nutrients, thus their fat is disnutritious in the first place. Here are the essential nutrients that your body needs in order to make fasting work better. Protein and amino acids. Fasting is catabolic, which means it breaks down your muscle tissue to produce energy. If you were to fast indefinitely or chronically under-eat protein, you would wither away and lose muscle. This is bad for longevity as well as fat loss. The daily minimum requirements for protein are set at 0.8 grams per kilogram or 0.36 grams per pound of body weight. However, that's much lower than would be optimal. For muscle growth and improved body composition, you'd want to aim for at least 0.7 to 1.0 grams per pound of lean body mass. When doing intermittent fasting, you actually need a slightly higher threshold as to compensate for the increased catabolism. Vitamin D is one of the most important hormones produced by the body that governs almost all other physiological processes. Deficiencies in vitamin D are associated with autoimmunity and weakened immune system, which increases the susceptibility of getting an infection. Low levels of vitamin D are linked to poor sleep, low testosterone, osteoporosis, cardiovascular disease and asthma. You also need vitamin D for autophagy and the production of autophagy zones. Fasting itself won't deplete vitamin D, but if you are already deficient, then you would feel much worse. If you have sufficient vitamin D at least between 40 to 70 nanograms per milliliter, you would avoid vitamin D deficiencies. Fortunately, you can also prevent it by just getting more sunlight. And yes, it doesn't break a fast. Vitamin A is important for nerve functioning, growth development, building new cells and improving eyesight. Deficiencies can cause night blindness and infections. Being deficient of vitamin A could also contribute to neuropathy. Compared to vitamin D that you can synthesize from the sun, vitamin A has to be obtained from food. That's why you ought to get enough vitamin A during your eating window. Retinol from animal sources is a much more bioavailable form of vitamin A than beta-carotene or carotenoids. Vitamin K is important for proper physical development and growth. It's also essential for blood clotting and wound healing. In the context of atherosclerosis, vitamin K also directs calcium into the right place, namely the bones and teeth, instead of keeping it in the bloodstream to cause plaque formation. Fasting with vitamin K deficiencies can cause nose bleeding, headaches, bruising, frailty, bone fractures and calcification. Vitamin K1 is quite easily obtained from vegetables, but vitamin K2 comes primarily from fermented foods, organ meats, liver, egg yolks and animal fats. If you want to cover the most of the essential nutrients that your body needs, then you should be eating some organ meats. If you don't have access to them or just hate the taste, then check out Answers to Supplements organ meat capsules. They're made from high quality grass fed beef and they're freeze dried, so they maintain all the nutrition. It's basically real food in a gelatin capsule. Check out the link in the description for a 15% discount. Everything the body needs. Here are the main minerals you need for fasting. Iodine. Iodine is essential for producing thyroid hormones and maintaining metabolic rate. Hyperthyroidism causes fatigue, hair loss, frailty, osteoporosis, constipation and goiter. Fasting could lower thyroid because of increased stress. That's why an iodine deficiency on top of that would make things much worse. The best source of iodine is seafood, but it's commonly depleted from nutrients or is contaminated with heavy metals. Iron is essential for hemoglobin transportation, which helps to transfer oxygen to muscles and cells. Fasting can easily lead to low iron or anemia, especially in women or people who don't eat red meat. If you eat foods like meat, lentils, spinach, pumpkin seeds, vegetables, fish and dark chocolate, then you're probably getting enough iron. Excess iron is a risk factor for cardiovascular disease and can be toxic. So consult your doctor first before taking supplements. Zinc is an essential mineral involved in cell growth, protein synthesis and protecting the immune system. It's also important for testosterone. 
Fasting can lower testosterone by raising cortisol, but zinc deficiency will make things worse. Sodium is important for energy production, digestion and electrolyte balance. Deficiencies in sodium can cause muscle cramping, brain fog, fatigue, water retention and even insulin resistance. It can also create binge eating and refeeding after breaking the fast, because the body is depleted of this essential nutrient. To avoid deficiencies, you should consume some salted water during the fast state and salt your food to taste. Potassium. Deficiencies in potassium can weaken muscle contraction, cause arrhythmia and impair insulin production. Low potassium activates calcium signaling, which results in chronically excessive autophagy, leading to calcification. That's why you should be eating a lot of vegetables during your eating window to get enough potassium. Using potassium chloride salts with reduced sodium like new salt or taking potassium gluconate can be useful during the fast state. Magnesium is important for managing stress, including all the other biological processes and reactions in your body. Stress also depletes magnesium, raising cortisol and supplementation helps to reduce this effect. It also promotes sleep efficiency, onset and total quality. Fasting can deplete magnesium because most foods are already low in magnesium, especially if you drink coffee or are habitually stressed out. I'm using Biooptimizer Magnesium Breakthrough because it combines all the different types into a single capsule. Choline is a precursor to acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter responsible for cognitive functioning and attention. It's also vital for cell membrane, methyl metabolism, and cholesterol transportation. You need choline to prevent fatty liver and support methylation. Fasting with a choline deficiency can cause problems concentrating, brain fog, and even visceral fat gain because you don't have enough choline to drive fat out of the liver whenever you do break a fast. Foods rich in choline are eggs, meat, and fish. If you eat these foods, then you don't have to supplement with choline. The main point of this video is to show that in order to get the best results from doing intermittent fasting, then you need to couple it with a nutrient-dense diet, and you need to get all the essential nutrients because the fasting itself kind of shortens your eating window and it makes it harder for you to get all the nutrients in a time-efficient manner, and there's more room for error, whereas if you eat all the time, then you're naturally going to be more likely to get access to more nutrients, but it doesn't guarantee it. So that's why eating a nutrient-dense diet is still quite important. You can also use ancestral supplements that have many different organ meats like beef, heart, liver, spleen, thymus, thyroid, brain and others. I myself love the thyroid supplement because it's good for the thyroid and metabolism. You can get a 15% discount code using my affiliate link in the description. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click the like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay nutrient dense, stay empowered. Everything the body needs.